So let me ask you a question. Is it possible that your entire life could hang by such a small component of your entire body, such a small and delicate thread? Well, as you may know, you've got to breathe 24 hours a day, seven days a week, just to stay alive. But how much oxygen is there actually in your body? I mean, I mean, you breathe 24 hours a day. It's a lifelong commitment to breathing. So how much oxygen is in your body? Now, you might be wondering what the hell these five liters of strange yellow liquid are here. Well, it turns out I was recently on a diet and these are five liters, it's about five kilos of oil, fat. And this is basically how much weight that I lost during that period. So I weigh about 100 kilos. So this is about 5% of my body weight. Now, by happy coincidence, it turns out, the typical amount of blood in a human body is about five liters. So this is about the entire blood content of my body, which is, again, it's about 5% of my body weight. For most normal people, it's, it's about 7%, you know, that sort of thing. But a significant fraction of your entire body weight is this liquid. For transporting oxygen. I mean, why put such a huge effort into having all of this blood just to transport oxygen that's in the air all around you? Well, let's just say for sake of argument that this was water. How much oxygen dissolves in water? In fact, let's do some rough orders of magnitude first. This is about one litre, so it weighs about one kilo. It'd be exactly one kilo if it was water. And one thousandth of that is one gram or one milliliter or one milliliter, one gram, is 1,000 milligrams. And there's another really interesting rough calculation that you can do, is that if you take one gram of solid or liquid and turn it into gas, boil it or whatever, then it will occupy about 1,000 times that volume as a gas. So if I take one gram of water and turn it into steam at one atmosphere pressure, it'll give you about one liter of, of steam. Or if I take one gram of oxygen and put in here as solid or liquid and then let it evaporate, you'll get about one liter of gaseous oxygen at one atmosphere pressure. So if this was water, how much oxygen is dissolved in there? It turns out it's only 40 milligrams, 0.04 grams. So if that were gaseous oxygen, then you've got to multiply by a factor of about a thousand, which gives you 40 milliliters, which is about this much. That's about how much oxygen is dissolved in one, of, of gaseous oxygen is dissolved in one liter of water. So how much oxygen is dissolved in blood? Well, blood actually contains a protein called hemoglobin, which is, it's a huge fraction of blood. So blood by mass is about 30% by weight hemoglobin. So if I have my five liters here, about 1.7, 1, uh, 1 1.8 kilograms of that or so is actually this protein, hemoglobin. So it's this really goopy solution is blood. So why do you need so much uh, of this protein in there? Well, it turns out the hemoglobin is a huge molecule. It's got an atomic mass of about 16,000 atomic mass units, and it transports a single oxygen, which weighs 32 atomic mass units. So the hemoglobin monomer, 16,000, transporting a, a oxygen molecule weighing 32. So it's about two parts in a thousand by weight oxygen. So you'd have thought that, that's pathetic. I mean, that two parts in a thousand, but perspective, this is about one meter. You're talking about the, the, the fraction that you're talking about of oxygen in hemoglobin is about the thickness of my fingernail in a distance this big. So like I was saying, let's take one liter of blood. It's about 30% by mass hemoglobin. So that's about this much hemoglobin in one liter of blood. And that's 300 grams. And let's make our life easy for the moment and say it's uh, one part in a thousand oxygen, that hemoglobin. So one part in a thousand of 300 grams is 0.3 of a gram. Now 0.3 of a gram is by happy coincidence almost exactly what an aspirin tablet weighs. So if our hemoglobin was only one part in a thousand oxygen, we would have one aspirin tablet of oxygen dissolved 
in this liter of blood. However, we've got two parts in a thousand, so we get two whole aspirin tablets of uh, oxygen dissolved in this liter of blood. So compare that to water, of course, where it was one tenth of an aspirin tablet, and now we've got two aspirin tablets of oxygen dissolved in this, this liter of blood. So that's a factor of 20 increase in the solubility of oxygen in the blood. Now, that means that for all of the blood in my entire body, if it's got uh, 0.7 grams or so of oxygen per litre, and that means I've got about three and a half grams, three and a half grams, 30 aspirin tablets so of oxygen dissolved in my blood. But that's probably not entirely accurate because, of course, your blood's going around this circulatory system. So you, the, the, the blood picks up oxygen in the lungs, then it goes out to the tissue where it dumps the oxygen, gets some carbon dioxide, and brings it back to the lungs where you exhale the, carb, where you exhale the carbon dioxide. So, I mean, it, it, realistically, it's probably half that amount. That you've only got about two grams or something of oxygen in your, in your entire uh, blood system, circulatory system. But let's be generous and call it five grams. And the reason I choose five grams, of course, is because that is five grams of gold. That's what five grams of gold looks like. So this is what I find truly incredible, is that I'm 100 kilos here of living, breathing, thinking, organic machinery. And all of this is contingent on me having these five or so liters, five or 10% of my body weight of this, this liquid blood, which 30% by mass of which is this protein hemoglobin, whose principal purpose is just to increase the solubility of oxygen in my blood by a factor of about 20 over water, such that in my entire body, there is maybe only five grams of dissolved oxygen in my entire body. The whole 100 kilo machinery is contingent on such a delicate thread. And if you're feeling a little delicate, a little fragile at the moment, that everything is dependent on such a tiny fraction of your entire body, if you're feeling a little tight in the chest maybe or something, I've got a solution for you. The trick is to keep breathing.